there is a truth that becomes more and more apparent. In order to succeed, we have to be willing to sacrifice everything for what is right. We have to be willing to walk into the heart of darkness to rescue animals from the brink of death. We have to be willing to spend time in prison for all of the animals who have never seen the sky. We have to be willing to use our lives to fight for those who don't have the right to theirs. And how we use our lives to fight for them is up to each and every one of us. And what truly matters is that we do something and that we don't give up. I founded Happy Head Chicken Rescue when I was 11 years old. Since then, we've rescued hundreds of individuals from animal agriculture. I've watched them heal from trauma. I've watched them learn to love life. And I've also watched them die. And one individual's death has impacted me more than just about anything else. I remember it so clearly. As her breathing became heavy and her eyes grew distant, we knew that it was time. We knew that she was dying. She had been bred to lay so many eggs that her body had broken. I sat with her as she breathed her final breaths. I told her that I loved her, and I made a promise. I promised her that I would fight until no more chickens would ever face the suffering that she did. I promised her that I would fight until no more animals will ever be exploited. And I promised her that I would fight for her until the day I die if I have to. And on days when I feel like giving up, I think of her, of Georgia, and I know that I can't give up. I have to keep fighting. Because I also know that to not speak up would be to not truly recognize the plight which not human animals face. If we truly want to change this unjust system for individuals like Georgia, then we cannot remain silent. We cannot let their cries go unheard. Our silence makes a mockery of their suffering. And I know that we are all here today because we believe in a world where kindness rises above greed. We believe in a world where oppression against anyone is a distance and frowned upon memory. We believe in a world where every animal is treated with compassion, regardless of species. And I know that we can and we will make that world a reality. As our movement grows larger and larger, the animal agriculture industry grows more and more afraid. More and more articles appear where farmers warn one another of our revolution because they see exactly where the world is heading towards animal liberation. Because we are rising up. We are uniting in marches like this one, demanding that every last animal farm, animal testing lab, and every last slaughterhouse be shut down. And we will not take no for an answer. We will cry out against the Trojan injustice, and we will not back down. Because although this world is so full of suffering, it is also full of light. And we are the light for all of the animals suffering behind closed doors. We are the light for all of the animals being mutilated without anesthetics. For all of the animals having their newborn babies stolen from their sides. And for all of the animals losing their lives as we speak. And if our light fades away, then they have nothing but darkness and despair. But if we join together, if we speak up and we refuse to give up, then we can light up the entire world and we can achieve animal liberation. So may our voices rise for those who have been silenced. May we be heard for those who are not. May we have hope for those who have none. And may we continue on for those who didn't get to until every animal is free.